Hey guys, um, tonight I'm gonna show you how to set up your brand new MXQ TV box by RCJ Tech. So you just have to make sure that um, your HDMI cable and your power plug are plugged in. And uh, this will be your uh, startup page. So all you need to do using your remote control, you just have to click OK or Next. Alright, so it will show you the languages available. So there's an option also for you to adjust the display on your screen. And at this point, it will show you the uh, Wi Fi networks available in your area. So basically, you just have to scroll up. If you can see that option with close. You need to go to that option and then click OK from your remote control to turn on your Wi-Fi. And just scroll down to your Wi-Fi network and connect your device. And afterwards, I did not set up a password for my Wi-Fi, so just go ahead and... Uh, enter your password and then click next and this will be your home page so you just have to make sure that your MX MXQ TV box was connected or connected to your Wi-Fi and the next thing to do is to go to the MXQ player so you'll see there the Kodi application okay um there's a reminder that will pop up uh, you just have to click ok and then go to add-ons there you go click ok it will show you different countries right here so this is very important it's auto focusing okay this is very important um you will have to select on United Kingdom first before selecting United States. So on the upper right corner, you'd see there that um, the add-ons are being downloaded. You just have to wait for a few, I think that's a minute or two before it will be downloaded. And just in case that you receive a TV box with a different uh, home page instead of the MXQ player it will show you there the Kodi application um, you just have to kindly message me and I will send you a different instruction for that um, it's just that the supplier uh, already changed the software version of the TV box and just in case you had the old one you can just go ahead and simply send me a message so I can show you or send you an email regarding on how to install your add-ons on your TV box so it's kinda taking a long while it depends on how reliable your internet would be So after the download, you'll be able to see the word install on the right hand side of the United Kingdom and the United States. There you go. And we're still waiting for the United States add-ons.
installing. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. So as you can see, there there's the word installed um, on, on the right hand side of the United Kingdom and United States. So at this point, just um, go ahead and press the power button from your remote control. You need to have a long press. You need to make a long press on it and then click OK to turn it off. And then just kind of wait for 30 seconds up to one minute before uh, turning on again your TV box. There. So I'm turning on again my TV box. This is actually a requirement for us to um, be able to complete the update on it. Okay, we're on the home page once again, and uh, uh, go back to the MXQ player, and then um, select on videos. Okay, there you go. On the right lower corner, you'd see there are some add-ons updating, so it takes a while. It's around three to five minutes before the update will be completed so if anything pops up you just have to wait for it to be finished or to be completed there's an ESPN 3 add-on add update US TV now so as I said it will take three to five minutes for these add-ons to be updated so you just have to wait for it okay I think it's done so just click on add-on so from the videos option um, there were two uh, choices right here the files and the add-ons so just click on add-ons and just hit ok and then on the um, left hand side from your remote control just press it and then click ok and then go back to the right hand side of your remote control and just uh, look for exodus this is the application where you can uh, uh, watch uh, different movies, even the new ones that are available in the theater. So it will show you, I think, an an announcement regarding the uh, um, add-on support for the Exodus. So just click on movies if you want to watch a movie and then depends on you if you wanted the genre year or the new movies again if uh, anything pops up on the uh, right lower corner of your screen that something is updating you just have to uh, wait for it to be finished before clicking anything from your screen so there you go now you'd see the different movies available from the TV box okay you just have to select one of them and you're good to go you can now go ahead and uh, watch the movies available right here
so that's it um if you have any questions just go ahead and uh, send me a message and just in case that you made a mistake and you will need to ha uh, reset your tv box it's actually just easy you just have to go back from the main menu or the home page go to settings uh general and then more settings and look for the uh, backup and reset and then factory data reset then scroll down select reset mbx and then erase everything so that's it um that's how easy you can install the add-ons on your tv box once again we appreciate you for um choosing uh rcj tech and uh we have a good day